students welcome to our channel mechanical motivator today we just going to see a basic problem on projection of solid so problem which we going to see is here square prism so initially i will be explaining the question then i will be telling the given data and i will be telling how to draw the diagram step by step a square prism of base side 33 mm so the diagram which we are going to draw base diagram would be a square prism so square would be our base diagram for drawing the square we need the side right so 33 mm so all the four sides should be equal <coughs> and axis length is 60 mm so axis length mean height of the prism so height of the prism or axis length should be 60 mm lies on hp on one on one of its longer edges with its faces equally inclined to hp just underline this word faces equally inclined because uh, we will be uh, for resting and orientation we have to read the full question and then only we have to come to a conclusion draw the projection when its axis is inclined 30 degree to vp so as i mentioned earlier uh, where the axis is inclined we have to draw the base diagram that here axis is inclined 30 degree to vp so we have to draw the base diagram in vp okay so resting we have <coughs> found that we have to draw the base diagram vp orientation uh, there are two types of square so one will be like this so this is your first one so this is the first one and this is the second one so out of these two which one you have to do so just see this word faces equally inclined faces equally inclined means see here this is so angle here will be 45 degree so they clearly mentioned faces equally inclined which way means so we have to go with this square because here only the faces are equally inclined we should not go with this so our base diagram will be a square and we'll be going for the second type second case we will be drawing here so first step is uh, don't draw the xy line because the thing is we need to draw this square on xy line so my suggestion is try to draw this square and then draw the xy line so that it will be very easy for you we know the side of the square is 35 mm so just draw a straight line so just draw a straight line the angle should be 45 degree because it's equally inclined right all the angles will be 45 degree here 45 degree here 45 degree so just initially first step was draw a straight line keep a point and uh, keep your protector tilted uh, tilted upside down and for 45 degree you draw a line and for 45 degree here you draw a line so the length is 35 mm then for 90 degree perpendicularly you have to draw another 35 mm and here also for perpendicularly you have to draw another 35 mm the drawing this square dot we have already discussed in previous video itself you can refer those video for drawing this square after drawing this square you just have a see here it's a square for some right so <coughs> just see here so here the, this is the top face and this is the bottom face what i am saying is the square prism is resting on bp like this so this is the top face this is the bottom face so here alphabet and here numerical so alphabet will be uh, nearer to the vertical plane and uh, this one numerical you can see so when you see from your front view when you see from the front view you can see the 1 2 3 4 but you can't see a b c d so that's what here i have done so after drawing this square naming is you have to name it 1 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash you can clearly see because This side is a numerical one, and this side is alphabet. So alphabet we can't see. So that's why we are writing as A dash, B dash, C dash, E dash. And when you are seeing from the top view, when you are seeing from the top view, here alphabet is to be clearly seen, and here it's numerical. So when we rotate the or when we rotate the uh, horizontal plane 90 degree like this, you can see the front view. Okay, so you can see the top view. And uh, when you are seeing from the top view, you will be getting a rectangular shape. So A B C D will be above and one two three will be below and uh, marking these points no need to draw these lines and all you can use a scale and just mark a point here use a scale and just mark a point here use a scale and just mark a point here even if you draw these lines it should be drawn very very lightly with your twelve pencil height axis length so axis length is sixty uh, mm so axis length is sixty mm see here even if you draw an axis if you want axis mean you have to just join these two corners and these two corners. But the thing is, here we are having edges, right? So automatically the axis line will won't be seen because edges will overlap the uh, axis line. That's why I didn't give I didn't give preference for axis line. So uh, <coughs> if it is a normal square, means we can draw the axis line like that. Normal square, if you draw, means you will be getting an axis line. But for this sum or uh, this square, you won't get because the reason is here we will get edges. So here we will be marking edges only. Now we will see how to tilt or What angle we have been inclined with the what angle we have been inclined the axis line. In question, they are asking us to incline the axis for 30 degree. See here, if you want to, in, this is the axis. 
okay axis will be here if you want to influence this the, if you want to influence the axis 30 degree means see here this angle will be 30 and this angle will be 90 so automatically here we will be having 60 degree so what you going to do is just incline this base for 60 degree to measure this base approximately you will be having a 5 or 6 centimeter just measure this distance 5 centimeter means take your protector keep your point anywhere on this line and just uh, for 60 degree you just draw this line for exact and then draw a perpendicular line. So uh, length will be 60. And here it is also 60. And just close the box. And naming is similar. Just measure this and keep as it is. Just measure this and keep as it is. Then uh, if it's A means you write A1. Like that you have to name everything. And the next thing is uh, try to understand. Uh, initially we are drawing the diagram touching the x y line means you have to leave a space. So distance between this reference line and this line will be minimum of two or three centimeter. And from now on you have to keep this is the reference. Okay. So when you draw, after drawing the everything, just extend it. So here, even here, it, here also we are having axis, but due to edges we can't see. Try to extend that uh, till the reference line. So this is the axis line. It should be extended till reference line, and you have to dimension only the axis line for 30 degree. Then we are having three points. One, two, three. Here three points. Extend all the six points vertically above. Here we are having three points. One, two, three. Extend all the three points horizontally. And finally, what we are going to do is we are just going to plot the points like A, B, C, D will be having here and 1, 2, 3, 4 will be having here. After identifying it, we will be finding what all, point, what all points are to be hidden. So, just uh, after drawing the vertical and horizontal line, just mark A, B, C, D. So, A, B, C, D and 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this is spread view, so we will be putting everything dash. If it is A dash, means you have to put A 1 dash like that. So now we will be seeing hidden. So just see which corner or edge are lying uh, on XY line or nearer to XY line. So when we see from here, when we see from here, C1 is the only point which is nearer to XY line. So just see C1 should be hidden. C1 is the main thing. And just see what all points are connected to it. So C1 to 3 1 is hidden. So C1 to 3 1 dash is hidden. C1 to D1 is hidden. C1 dash to D1 dash is hidden. C1 to B1 is hidden. C1 dash to B1 dash is hidden. So remaining things, remaining edges, we just join so that we will be getting the exact solution. Now just join all the edges. First you need to join like this. So 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1. It's over. Then A to B, B to C is hidden, C to D is hidden, D to A you can join. Then C this edge, D to 4 is an edge and B to 2 is an edge and uh, C to 1 is also an edge. So when you join here, like A to C is an edge, A to C is an edge. So A to C will be joining, then extend is still 1 dash because C to 1 is an edge. So you will be like, getting like this. So this is one face, this is one face and this is one face. So hidden is only C to B and C to D and C to 3 is only the hidden and remaining thing you just join and rub the extended all the unwanted lines you just rub it up so that your diagram will be neat and dimension you have to dimension here the side of this file is 35 and height of these for uh, axis length is 60 mm and the uh, heading should be projection of square prism the height of should be 10 mm and here you have to write all dimensions are you know, scale 1 is 2 and it should be written uh, height of is 5 mm and you have to write this in right bottom corner of your A3 sheet if you feel this video is useful means then you can share with your friends and do subscribe my channel mechanical motivated then only you can receive all the videos which I upload thanks for watching this video have a great day